Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today's a very exciting vlog. It's gonna be hopefully just one day. Could be rolling into two, I don't really know, but it's November 9th, which means that we're gonna be reading November 9 by Colleen Hoover. And I'm really hoping I can finish it in one day. It's not that long of a book. It's like 300 pages, I think. So this is the new cover, if you're wondering. Um, the old cover looked like this. Honestly, don't really know which one I prefer more. I feel like maybe the old one, but this is what my indigo in my city had. So picked it up, very excited to read it. I also picked up this really cute bookmark that I plan on using with it. It says, my workout is reading in bed until my arms hurt. And I just thought that was really cute. So that is the plan for this vlog. I am currently eating breakfast and drinking my coffee. Just gonna watch some YouTube for a little bit and then we'll get started reading. I guess because I'm just gonna be reading this entire vlog, I'm not gonna obviously be on camera the whole time, but I will update you guys during parts that I think deserve my reaction on camera. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and let's get this vlog started. Guys, I was coming in to read because I got cold outside and look at them. If you don't know my cat Felix, he usually really hates cats so this is so cute. Seeing them together. Hi Felix. And he tucked himself in. Oh, so cute. Okay, I just made hot chocolate, came inside because it was a little bit cool outside now. Got my man here, he all snuggled up. So just came inside, I made nice hot cocoa in my mom's number one mom mug. But I'm gonna keep reading. I just wanted to come on here and update you. So I've already started annotating like a little bit. I'm on page 31, which is not very far obviously, but I already have some things to say because honestly like this book is reeling me in so well and I love the characters like Colleen really went in on making the main characters very character -y. and I don't know if I've ever read a book like that good at doing that if that makes sense I mean so far so good I honestly don't know where things are gonna go but I'm really excited I can definitely see they both already feel like very stubborn people and I could see them both, you know, messing up a little bit, but we'll see what happens. So maybe I'll catch up with you guys when I'm a little bit closer to halfway, let you know my thoughts, but for now, I'm just gonna lay in bed and keep reading. Hello guys, I am just taking a break from reading. Nick and I are going to be going to the store. We have to pick up a few things for dinner. I'm on page 112, so I'm like almost halfway because this book is exactly 300 pages long. So far, this is like the most adorable book I've ever read. I always knew I was kind of a romantic and a softie, but this is like confirming it. And 100% like Ben is my new favorite book boyfriend. 100%. I even really love Fallon. I feel like everything is just so beautifully written. I, I knew that was going to be the case because it's Colleen, but honestly this is like exceeding all of my Colleen expectations at this point and I'm so happy. It is currently almost five o'clock and I'm not gonna like force myself to read an entire book in a day just like because it's on the day. I wanted to, but I really want to enjoy the book. So I'm definitely going to be reading probably up until halfway today. And then reading the other half tomorrow, maybe bleeding in a little bit until the 11th, I don't know. But that's that's the plan because I want to genuinely absorb everything and enjoy the book. So this was going to be a one day vlog, but it's probably going to be in a, like a two day vlog. So hope that's OK with you guys. Um, <laughs> overall, definitely so good. The relationship, like I'm only on the second year that they meet and their relationship is just like Literally the same as when they first met, 
they were both so nervous that they would like change and maybe not like each other anymore but it's just it's still so, so fucking adorable the things that he says to her to make her feel good about herself is just so good honestly a lot of the things are like reminding me of my relationship but it's just like getting to me so really good i'll catch up with you guys i don't want this vlog to be too long so yeah i'm gonna enjoy my night with my boyfriend we're probably gonna go we're gonna make garlic bread and then we're also gonna probably get some ben and jerry's and relax tonight because i don't really feel like again reading this entire book in one sitting we just got back from grabbing groceries and we're making pasta i guess i'll show you it we're making pasta and homemade garlic bread for dinner so that's great and also we got ice cream because we're celebrating today we celebrated um my boyfriend making a big choice for his life I'm not going to get into it and also i think i mentioned this morning i had an interview at indigo which if you're not aware, I'm sure everyone's aware, but if you're not, is a bookstore. <laughs> and it's just like a part-time thing. And I got it, uh, they already emailed me. So <laughs> very happy about that. I'm like, I can't believe it's even happening. Like the fact that I can work from home, doing my book blog, reading, having this nice part-time job that is literally related to books. I can, you know, hopefully use it to my advantage, be able to see new releases, stuff like that. This is exactly the plan, so I'm really happy about that. It's been a good night. I'm honestly not really in the mood to keep reading. Um, I will finish it tomorrow though because I started late today reading. And like I said, I am on page 112 out of 300, so I can definitely get it all done tomorrow if I just like do it all, but I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at how pretty this new cover is. Making some yummy pasta. We like to use some sort of like tomato basil sauce with it. Stuffed with spinach and cheese. And then our homemade garlic bread is in the oven right now currently making. Ba making? Baking. Cooking. <laughs> it's cooking. Good morning guys. New day. Like I said, did not read the entirety of November 9 yesterday. So it's November 10th, and I'm just getting ready for the day. I need to put a face mask on um, to wake myself up. So I've literally been wearing this so many times in vlogs lately. I don't care. Um, <laughs> it's honestly the only mask I have right now. I have 10 bottles from Lush to bring back so I can get new face masks. So that's exciting, but I haven't done it yet. So. Right now, I'm just gonna put a cup of coffee on. I don't know about any of you, but I like to just make my face a little wet before I put it on. My cats are fighting. It's actually so funny because I feel like I've never talked about basketball on my channel, and that's because I used to be a sport hater until I met Nick, and I don't know. I've never really been into like football or hockey or anything like that, um, not, just not my thing, but when I started bas watching basketball it was like pretty fun, so I got into it and now I really like it. <laughs> I'm gonna make some breakfast, I don't know why I like was like, yes sir, I'm gonna make some breakfast, but when I start reading or when something happens, I'll catch up with you. I'm really hoping I do finish it today, so we'll see. guys i really hope that this is in focus because i am using my phone i just got to the gym but i am 50 pages away from being done november 9. it's currently november 11th so i took a couple days sue me i guess i i don't know i just couldn't read the whole book in one day i felt like i wouldn't properly enjoy it that way i really wanted to absorb all the material so so far definitely read a lot of mixed reviews about this book being kind of problematic like the guy being super controlling or like manipulative blah 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 maybe that's the case but personally i like love ben i really love ben and fallon you know i like ben more just based on like everything he says to her but i also like fully understand her side these characters feel so real like 
they both are so logical. They both know what they kind of what they want. I did reach the point where like they were having issues and I think that both sides were pretty like mature about it considering they were only like 21 or 22. But anyway, I don't want to like spoil anything. So, I won't. But I thought that the spin on the book was like really really good. Maybe to some not realistic, but I personally think this entire book is really realistic. Like I know not most people would be like, let's meet up once a year, block each other on social media, whatever, whatever. But I think that's definitely possible. And everything else that happens like after that point, I also think is very possible. So if you don't know me, you wouldn't know that I really appreciate realism in books. And I think that this one has it. And I really, really have been loving it. So it's definitely up there for one of my favorite books obviously if the ending is like insanely disappointing we'll see but as of right now i really fucking love this book so i'm gonna go into the gym when i'm finished the book later i'll let you know how it is i'll give you my like full you know kind of review on it i guess but yeah let's go work out i haven't worked out in three days because there's just been like so much going on so hello guys been a few hours since we talked i went to the gym this morning as you know and it's now 3 13 and i just finished november 9. like i don't i don't want to cry i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna cry but this book i think it's like my favorite book at this point <laughs> like it's so good right from the beginning i was hooked I love these characters so much. I think that Fallon is like so beautiful. The fact that she's so insecure because of what happened to her grows up to be like this beautiful woman who knows, you know, for the most part what she wants, comes to terms with things. And Ben is, Ben is my book boyfriend goals, okay? I'm sure I'll find a romance book that exceeds him, but as of right now, he is everything to me <laughs> like he does they're both very flawed they both make mistakes in this book but the fact that he is so selflessly in love with Fallon tells her you know honest truth throughout the book and at the end he's just he's everything they're both super witty and funny I found myself laughing a lot throughout this book but I also saw myself crying and sobbing and just there's like a huge twist in this book and I feel like some people are disappointed in it because it is kind of like a like I could definitely see people being like oh Colleen just like threw that in there because it was the easiest thing but honestly like that was not what I was expecting whatsoever I wasn't expecting anything with his family the way it happened to happen and I wasn't expecting anything with her family to happen I'll just say that because again, I'm not on the air to just ruin and spoil books for people. <laughs> I wouldn't want that for me, so you'll definitely have to read it yourself. But the ending was so good. I think I'm realizing now that I'm just a sucker for any type of book that is about books. Because obviously, if you don't know, Ben is a writer and he writes about their love story meeting. I'm literally going to cry. <laughs> He writes about their love story every November 9 when they meet up, and yeah. Can you tell this was a 5 out of 5? I mean, 5 out of 5. Honestly, 1 million out of 5. This is- it's really hard for me to say this out loud, but this surpasses The One by John Mars for me. And that's been my favorite book for over a year now, so wow. Yeah. If you want, I'll read you my review because I did just write my review on Goodreads, and I feel like obviously it's better like, you guys maybe understand a little bit better if I just read my review. So, that's how long it is. It's not too long. But I wrote, this book was, wow, simply wow. From the very first chapter, I adored the main characters. They felt so relatable and real. Fallon and Ben are both so witty, and the way they interacted on that first November 9 was adorable. It, as unrealistic as the story may seem, I honestly could see people doing this, and it felt so meaningful because of that. And by this, I mean meeting up once a year and not interacting otherwise. Felon was such a beautiful character, so insecure at first, but learned to love herself and follow her heart. Ben is everything I've ever dreamed of in a book boyfriend. 
Yes, he made huge mistakes in this book. Again, no spoilers, but he did. They both do, but he did. But the way he gives Fallon honesty, support, and selfless love makes me want to sob. Like, literally just adorable. Their love story is one like I've never read, and I seriously have zero complaints about this book. I know some people say there are problematic pieces to the storyline. I've heard people say that they think Ben manipulates her into falling in love with him and he kind of like is very pushy with her but I think that's just like the alpha in him and if you actually read the book you know that she's like all for it super consensual so um but I wholeheartedly disagree that's what I said and then I say I think both of these characters are flawed but come together as such a beautiful couple one million out of five stars but that's it for this video I'm really happy that I took the time to fully read it as you can see I annotated the shit out of this book and I really hope I can like lend it to a friend someday because it's just amazing. So if you were having doubts about reading November 9 by Colleen Hoover, this is your sign to finally pick it up. If you feel like it'd be more meaningful to read it on November 9, just wait till next year and pick it up because it's definitely a keeper. So happy that I read this finally. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's reading vlog. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And I will see you guys in my next one.